The Saeco Encanto. To enjoy a perfect cup of coffee time and time again, we recommend to regularly maintain your machine. We will guide you through this process in several simple steps. Switch off and unplug the machine. Remove, empty and rinse the drip tray and coffee grounds container. Use lukewarm water for the container. Open the service door, press the push button and pull at the grip of the brew group to remove it from the machine. Use a spoon handle to clean the coffee exit duct. You can clean the inside with a soft damp cloth. Take the brew group and rinse it with lukewarm water. Clean the upper filter carefully. Let the brew group air dry thoroughly. Do not dry it with a cloth, otherwise fibers can go inside. Before you slide the brew group back, make sure that the two reference signs on the sides match and that the lever is in contact with the base of the brew group. If they do not match, push the lever down until it is in contact with the base. Also, the locking hook has to be in the correct position, which is uppermost. Push the hook upwards until you hear a click. Slide the brew group in along the guiding rails, on the sides until it locks with a click. Watch that you don't press the push button. Close the service door and place back the drip tray and coffee ground container. The monthly cleaning of the brew group should be performed with the degreasing tablet. Start by placing a container under the coffee spout. Press the aroma strength button and select ground coffee. Put the tablet in the pre-ground compartment and press Espresso Lungo. The machine then dispenses water from the coffee spout. When the progress bar reaches the middle, set the main switch to OFF. Let the degrees in solution work for approximately 15 minutes. Then set the switch to ON and press the standby button. The rinsing cycle starts automatically. You should perform the weekly cleaning of the brew group cleaning procedure. After which, you can empty the drip tray and coffee grounds container. Press the aroma strength button and select ground coffee. Press Espresso Lungo. The machine then dispenses water from the coffee spout. Repeat these steps twice. You have to lubricate the brew group. If you brew about 6 to 10 cups per day, grease the brew group every two months. If you brew more than 10 cups per day, grease the brew group monthly. Switch off and unplug the machine. Clean the brew group like you would do weekly. The brew group has to be greased in a few places, the shaft and the rails. Apply a thin layer of grease around the shaft in the bottom of the brew group and the rails. Put the brew group back, similar as for the weekly cleaning. We recommend you to clean the carafe thoroughly once a week. Start with disassembling the top of the carafe and remove the lid. Turn the spout lid upside down and hold it firmly, then pull the suction tube of the rubber support. Release the milk frother from the rubber support by pressing the release buttons. Pull the milk frother connection out of the milk frother and rinse all components under lukewarm tap water. Start with pouring the milk circuit cleaner sachet in the milk carafe then fill it with water to the max. Insert the carafe into the machine and place a container under the milk spout. Press Menu, select Drinks and scroll to Milk Froth. When you press OK, the cleaning starts. Repeat this until the milk carafe is empty. Remove the container and carafe. Rinse it and fill with fresh water to the max. Place the carafe and container back into the machine, then press Menu, 
Select Drinks and scroll to Milk Froth. Now you can start the rinsing cycle. Again, repeat this until the carafe is empty. Remove the milk frother and wash with lukewarm water. Clean the steam wand with a wet cloth and reassemble all parts. A quick clean of the milk system is easy. Place a cup under the automatic milk frother. Press the hot water button once. Water is dispensing, press the OK button and the water stops. For the daily cleaning, you should insert the suction tube into a jug filled with fresh water. Place an empty container under the milk.